Namaste. Hi. Aside from the strengthening, balancing, and energizing effect of light postures, practicing it doesn't require too much preparation. So if you're busy, to help you keep up with your self-practice, doing leg balances and generally standing poses would help you a lot without disrupting your busy life. So for the day, let me share with you a short you know, sequence of leg balances. All right, so standing tall. Good. And then just feeling your body as it is. And then you can shift forward and back to your toes and heels. And then just be in the moment, uh, letting go of the bit this it has ahead. All right, and then let the tension uh, exit through your mouth. Good, and resume your nostril breathing. Okay, and then start to match the legs. You can also shrug and circle the shoulders around, and then start to flip your joints and the wrists. Good, and then can we do some stationary hopping here? You can sway your arms out to the side and cross them in front. Great, and then some high knees here to start to loosen the joints of the hips and then keep moving the joints there. Good. You can cross and swing the arms out to the side. Good, all right, arms are lifting really high on the off breath. We're swinging, folding at the hips, bending your knees, and then come back up. Exhale, bend, inhale, lift. Exhale, and arise. So this is draining. Now you can even allow your shoulders to roll past to the back and then lift with the light momentum up and down. All right, next time, we're lifting right leg up. Foot down and swing, lift leg up. Bend and swing, right leg up. You can even allow your arms to dangle to the side. All right, can we do one more per leg, yeah? All right, next time, the right leg remains up, and then hold it. Okay, now guide that foot, either high up the opposite thigh, knee level, or touch the floor. The Vriksasana. All right, your arms may remain high, or place them in front of your chest. And then here, just balancing. Also, leg balances are really beneficial for creating and then building that awareness of the body. And it's doable. You can hold to a wall if you need, chair in front of you, those things. Modify it. All right, arms left, inhale. Yeah, lift the knee in front, foot down and swing, and the left leg up. Then and swing, and the right leg. You can also start to spring your swing at the bottom, like the trampoline jump. Okay, and next time your left leg remains up, hold the left leg up. All right, let me face you. All right, and then that foot now touches the floor. Yeah, just beside that opposite one. And then fold the elbows like the shape of the cactus. Okay, now our arms move away from that bent knee. So this hand in front of you, turn to you. And then holding that okay sign with the hand. Good, and then the opposite hand may do the same. And then lift the chest up, lift the throat up, and then let your gaze fall towards that bent shoulder, that which is left. We're holding balance, like you're playing the musical instrument, the flute. This one is an elegant position, keeping your spine upright. Okay, and from here, the arms will circle around, Lift them up together with that, lifting that left leg, bend and swing, and lift the right. And then you don't have to think which leg goes up. As soon as you find that first leg, it will just become natural. And just keep changing, you can jump it up. But if you jump, make sure you're landing slight. Okay, now next time the right leg goes up, right? Hold it up and stay. Okay, now 
you can just cross the thighs with the foot down. Now we're going to do the eagle. Or if the flexibility is there, you can find your toes wrapping around the calf. Okay, you can just cross your arms in front of you. Or right arm is under, left arm on top, and then you're binding to the Garudasana. A traditional Hatha Yoga technique. We can lightly sit and then hold. Now stay for three, two, one, and tangle. Left, bend and swing, and rise. I love that jumping swinging because it decompresses the joints from the standing. Good. Keep going. The breath being exhale here. Inhale up. All right. Prepare. Remain with the lift leg up. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Good. All right. So same hand to the foot at the back. Grab the inside of the foot. You can just keep it upright like this. Lift all. Inhale. Exhale. As you tip forward to advance. Inhaling. You can just keep it low behind you or try to kick that foot against the hand, but keep your spine lifting tall. Roll that hip under and stay. You may look to the front, holding, breathing. Okay, and then we're going to let go of this foot and then lightly step it out to the side. Pick up the other one, <laughs> balancing crossing that knee and then bending your standing leg. Now turn your spine to the direction of the top hip. Okay, this hand, which is the right, limping over the knee, good. And then the other hand forms the <laughs> Gyan Mudra. You can even bend and <laughs> you have this. Yeah, posture up and down. And then stay for three, two. All right, and this leg steps in front. Zip and flatten. Yeah. The right arm falls, the left hip opens, and then turn flat. You can just stay right here, or you can progress this by lifting the top shoulder up, like your shoulder stack, your arms are lined. You can even allow a light touch there with your fingertips. Hold, read, All right, and lightly come up. Now zip and then squaring your hips. All right, find your balance. <laughs> Negotiate by using the arms, Good. like the aeroplane or a variation of the third warrior. Holding, holding, and then this leg goes up. Bend and swing, and then the other one. Exhale, bend, and left. Good. Now, whichever leg is up, hold it, lunge it to the back, and spine the floor, and step behind you. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Good. Lifting alternate legs. Uh, inhale as you lift the leg, you can let the leg bend and stretch up in the air a few times before you change. Okay, and you can yeah, jog a down dog. Inhale, body over the wrists. You can drop to your knees or you can perform your chaturanga. Exhale to the ground. You can just hover here a moment to release the pressure. Inhale, next, open up your vinyasa. Exhale. To the back, down the dog, and recover those legs by lifting them up and down. All right, it's first side. Ready? You can just step, walk, run, or next inhale, sit, crush, look forward, and jump. Okay, and then from there, bending the knees, and then shake the body. As you shake the body like an animal out of the water, roll your spine up. Well, you can even shake the head and jog in place, high knees. And then do some random release of the joints, and then I can the shoulders. Feel how the energy has multiplied many times. And then for a moment, your mind is not worried about your task ahead. Deep. 
Step. Bend and swing. And left, one leg. Good. Exhaling. Inhaling. Okay. And next time, you find that lift leg and then hold it up. We're changing already. Okay. You can use the hand to guide that foot. High, medium, or low. You can rub that foot against the thigh. Yeah. You can keep your arms lifting up or you rest them in front of you. All right. Just make sure you're not locking your standing knee. Spine erect. Shoulders down. You can start there and then win or circle those arms up. You can even play with some random motions of the arms. You can bend, you can glide the arms around like the tentacles. Okay, and then the leg lifts, bend and swing, right leg up. You can jump this one up. Great, but if you're jumping, the breath pattern changes as well. It's inhale and exhale to stand upright. Okay, ready? Okay, preparing one more to the left. Right leg remains up and hold. All right, you can circle that foot around. A light pointing of the foot. Breathe, nice and lifted. Bending the arms, right hand facing you. Left hand facing away, both form the Yana Mudra. Lift the throat back and an eye gaze there. Right hand breathe. You can even yeah, pick up that foot already and remain. <laughs> yeah, circle those arms up. Eyes follow and the knee up. Bend and swing, lift your left. You can jump or no, up to you. And ready for the left leg, hold the left leg up and stay. All right. Now you can shake that leg around. All right. Level one, just cross. Level two, deeper cross with the foot down or binding that foot left arm under, right on top, and then you're holding your Garu Dasana. Breathe. Good. Focus. You may separate your eyes. Your right eye sees. And then the left eye sees the left aspect. Good. Hand cross. Left. Bend and swing. And left, swing, and jump. All right. Ready, hold, and then stay, yeah. Dangle, bend, all right, we have to do the right side. Left the right, hold it, okay. Pick up that foot, zip. We can just stay here upright or tip forward. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay, and then that foot steps slightly to an angle. Lift this leg up, cross, turn the body, bending your standing leg there, left hand limps. And your right hand forms the cactus, right? Limping this hand, holding, thousand three, two, one, zip. Yeah, that hanging leg steps, flatten. Yeah, yeah. the variation of the art Russian rasana. Or you can let your fingertips touch there. Energize the back leg, holding. All right, pull the core in, squaring the airplane, flatten, lengthen, holding, and lift. 
your right leg up, then in swing, and the left. Great. All right. And then that next leg will find its way to the back, and then hands find the floor, and then step behind you to add the homo kashinasana. And alternate those legs. How'd it go? Yeah, it feels good, right? Good. Okay, body over the wrists, inhaling, exhale. All right, you can let it relax a moment here and then glide it through and press it back and alternate your legs. Okay, beautiful. Okay, and we just <laughs> cross it and down to the floor. Beautiful. Yep. Short but strong, complete and fun. Huh? Closing now. Arms left. Inhale. Exhale. Yeah. Working on that. Yeah, synchronicity, grace, yeah, as well as the breath on top of the physical benefit. All right, hold it up. Our hands together. Yeah, and then head to your chest. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your busy day. Namaste, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.